Welcome back, indie lovers. Today we are checking out Indies Lies. Now, this is a game that I have checked out a while ago. Now, they actually ended up contacting me by email saying that they had a huge update that just dropped. And I really, really enjoyed this card-based game. And it was just a ton of fun. The characters are amazing. The stories are really fantastic. So I want to hop in here and check out the game a little more. So if you like it, of course, the links will be down below. And let's go and hop right in and check it out. Uh, I think I stipulated the ashes, yeah, the ashes of sorrow last time. Exposure of magic copper turn humans into violent creatures and rob them. Once infected, they're no cure. Let's go with the Riverbake Reminisce first. Let's go with the first one. And then, of course, you have a whole bunch of characters you can pick from, which is awesome. Secret card, deal 12 damage, add two stab to your hand. This is the cool part. So you have all these characters to choose from, right? Look at them. They're all so many characters. There's so many characters, and I love it. Um, let's see here. Can I be changed? Because I haven't unlocked that yet. Deal Y damage X times Y equals the number of cards in hands times three. Uh, this is the beginning of each turn. Draw one additional card. And then I have this one right here, which is Daniel. Deal 13 damage to all enemies, plus one extra psychic if, if psychic circle is activated. Deal 15 damage. View all cards. Withdraw pile. Choose one. Add to your hand. You have Jansen, which is an 8 damage gain block equal to HP loss. Deal 3 damage 5 times to random enemies. Draw 2 hero cards. I love that, actually. That's a really nice one. Lock more by clearing any roguelike level. Actually, very cool. Deal 60 damage plus 1 damage for each negative effect. Add 2 vulnerable, 2 frail, 2 weak to all enemies. Exhaust. Whenever an enemy is given negative effect, it deal an initial 7 damage. Ooh, I'm actually going to go with them. Evelyn sounds great. Chapter 1, The Fertile Plains. Select to camp. Stage boss is a water elf. Excellent. Replace one starting stri one strike card with Fundraiser. Deal 15 damage. If this card kills a non-minion enemy, gain 15 gold. Exhaust. Minion will automatically treat a sheep to die. Let's see here. Choose one card for 20 cards to replace a starting strike card or obtain a gilded mask. Hero can't be resurrected once on death. Um, I like the fundraiser one. Because 15 gold per kill is excellent. It has to come up at the right time though. So I'm actually going to do choose one card to replace one strike card. Exhaust all non-attack cards. Deal for 18 damage plus 3 damage for each exhaust pile card. Play the top. Play the card on top of the draw pile and exhaust it. Retain. Uh, apply one vulnerable to all enemies. If the target has aim, apply an extra two vulnerable. Deal 10 damage. Increase damage by five for each target shock. Let's see here. Deal 50 damage twice to random enemies. Draw one skill. Auto. Ooh. I like that. So if you draw it, it just automatically has it. I like that. Beautiful. All right. Damage, damage. Or, uh, sorry, uh, attack, attack. I'm going to go with the attack routes right here, and I'm going to go down the center because I want that, that uh, hammer right there. So I'm going to go left so I can get a little more battles in. I drew it automatically. That was cool. Wow. That was really good. Gain two energy. Nice. Uh, choose one of three cards that's your deck and replace a card in your deck. I actually really... I forgot they replace, um... I forgot the replace aspect of the game. That's actually very cool. That's 15 damage, gain one overload if target does not have an attack intent. Deal to some more damage for each stack. Remove block equal to stack at the end of time. Enemy attack intent displayed above enemy. Add one vulnerable to all enemies if target has aim or all gain six block plus two block when played. This combat auto. Let's do it. <laughs> I like that. And it's auto too, so it just gets played. That was lucky again. All right, you are going to add to Frail. You're going to deal 10 damage one time to the front row. And now you're weak. Deal 16 damage, plus 16, plus one damage for every negative effect. I did 33, and then I'm going to do block. And we're going to end turn. And now we're just going to strike. What's dislocation? 
Buy one shock. Oh. Gold. No, I want to gain. I want to gain the hundred gold right now. Okay, whatever. We'll wait. Deal ten damage. Increase damage by five for each target shock. Deal four damage four times. Add two lost. No. Let's do the shock blast. Uh, let's do the shock blast. This is I have strikes already. And I think this is. I don't know what to, if I can go. Hmm. Choose one and three attacks to add to your hand. It costs zero this turn. Exhaust. I always love cards like this, actually. Can I use this now? I can. Beautiful. Hero gains two plated armor and then remove all enemy positive effect. Hero gains those effects. Oh. Or I could buy these. Spark a new talent. After each purchase, cost increases by 100. Uh, fill your empty item slots with random items. <clears throat> or dis discard all any number of cards, then draw that many. I kind of like that one. And I'll take the talent sparks. So I can start building my way down. Here, talent spark. Choose one. Uh, current talent sparks one. Talent spark two. Burn 8% HP HP of your enemy at the beginning of the combat. Or, whenever an enemy is given negative effect, deal an additional 7 damage. Oh, I've already unlocked those. Those are good. Hero will no longer be weak. Each time you block from a non-card effect, gain 1 additional block. Or, hero starts each combat with 3 dexterity. I don't know. I like I like all three. I'm gonna go with weak. I'm gonna go with I can't be weak. I do like that. Did that just become fifty percent off, like randomly? I want to save my money for later. I can go back here. I'm gonna go here. No one can resist the lure of money, says the goddess of death, Theologus. Uh, obtain 75 HP or 75 gold. I can lose 20 to 50 gold. Or I can get 7 by lose 11 HP. Let's do that one, because I do not mind losing the HP. And then let's go this way. Obtain ruin. Let's go with obtain the ruin. Applies 3 shock. Exhausted. Uh, deals 8 damage. Exhaust. Attack ruins. And then opportunity ruins. Place, put one of three cards on the top of the drop pile in hand opportunity. Let's do that one. And let's attach it. Opportunity, let's attach it to... Honestly, I would love to start every single time with this. Let's go here. I know it's 250 gold, so oh, obtain 250 gold. Obtain curse arrogance. Upon playable that each at the end of this turn, lose one HP for each card in hand. Ooh. A gifted girl of Akeem heats yellow powder with magic copper and develop a strong new ally. I've seen that many people as the future of the currency. Let's do that one. I just want to do that one because I I don't want to go through that. So let's go with the hammer first. So I get a so I get this. Steal three HP for the enemy. Vampire runes. I like it. Apply three shock or retain one card till the end of combat. Let's go with apply three shock. <laughs> or vampire. Let's go vampire. And let's attach it to cold blood. Boom. And then let's go with the main events here. Hello! That was quick. we no longer gain weak. Yeah! Deal 16 damage to character with lowest HP. A deal plus 4 damage for each one positive effect. Is that a positive effect, technically? So it's going to 16 damage. Okay. Let's uh, apply this. Sasha's 12. What does delay mean? 
gain three delayed block. Oh, so I get six block next turn. Not a great hand for me, Rough Bat. Eight plus it gets armor. Nice. Let's go with this. And then let's play this. And then let's play this. Aha. And this is take one shot damage for each negative effect. Take one damage for each negative effect at the end of the turn. Oh, that's actually really good. I didn't even realize that. So shock, shock is gonna apply two for L and two vulnerable to me and then dead. This character's really strong. <laughs> Choose a card to have a thing. Oh, Talus Sparks, yay! So I get to do another one, which is deal 25 damage when you reply aims the enemy. Increase heroes max HP by five each time you learn a talent. Choose one card. I'm guessing it's glowing because it's special. All gain 12 block, put three random exhausted hero cards into your hand. Oh! Reduce all hero skills, cost is zero. They will exhaust when played. And their pit X cards at the top of the draw pile in order until it's empty. I do like that one though. That's random. Let's do that. Let's do this one. There's 12 blocks actually, not something to shake a, shake a tool at, you know what I mean? Heal all HP, heal partner to full, or remove a curse card. Let's bless. He's not on full HP. I should actually go on the bottom route. I should have figured out how to do a wrap around, but whatever. We're good. Let's make sure there's shocks on him too, so that he gets the full effect. There we go. Oh, he's still gonna hit me for seven though. Over, I'll get hit. That works. Jeez. Hero, hero, overlord, and game block equals six times of overload. I'll take the attack. But the only thing is, I am not like a fan of taking that right now. Okay, I'm gonna go here, see if I can't, like, oh, well, I'm not gonna go back because it's gonna block off things, so. Dang. Um, let's take the event anyway. Ooh, game one energy. So if I attach this to this, I gain energy. There we go. And it goes down by one, too. So I can't go for it. What we got here? Talent sparks? I got enough? I do. Curse cards are can now be played. Whenever you play a curse card, lose HP and exhaust it. Nice. Each time you gain block from a non-card effect, gain one additional block. Gain this out, choose a card from your deck to copy. I'm good with that. Let's get this, and then we're going to the battle. Hi, Wolfie. And with that, hit him with that, hit him with that, and then hit him with this. God, I just did that much damage one turn. Heal 10 damage, apply for a shock. Heal 15 damage on if the uh, target has a tank, all gain 15 block. That's a really good one. Apply aim to the target. Aim is all random damage while aim at this target this turn. Oh. I do like the double edge though. I'll keep that one. Let's go here. 
Um, I don't really need a bless. I don't really need a partner in a ship. I don't really need anything. But I'll, I'll bless for the 4 HP because luckily I'll get to this boss and he'll beat me just by 4 HP. And I'll be like, oh, okay. Gain 300 gold when this enemy dies. Nice. Gain stonewall. Block is not removed at the end of the turn. Oh, lovely. I love it. Hit him with that. Hit him with that. Um, and might as well get for the delay. Deal with gold plus 10 damage. Steal half your gold. Gold of up at so he's going to do 3 damage. So he's going to still have my gold. I wonder if that goes up with it. Love it. Doing a lot of damage. 30, 32. Do damage. Gold divided by 10. Use 100 gold. Jeez. Okay. Twenty-four, twenty-four. There's a reason I'm using that, and then I get this. All gain strength, and turn, lose strength, strength, gain 100 gold. No, don't use that right now. All gain 20 block. That's good. I'm okay with that. Shocker again, and this is for each shock. Fifteen damage, nice. She's a attack tent. Um There we go. Just too strong. Just too strong. Hero gains X overload, target gains X shock. Damn. Deal 18 damage cost plus one times to all. Cost plus one when hero takes damage. Wait, what? As a ruin slot. Oh, so I can improve that here. They're all shock and reduce equal strength. I'll go with this one because I feel like it's going to be like a, a dump. Choose a partner to join your team. Strength plus, attack type two, execute. Hmm. Heal, dispel flame. Ruin negative effects and heal HP. Apply more fire. Team gains strength quickly. Team doubles damage. Defeat dying targets quickly. Really? Huh. They get the ambush too. I don't know who to pick. I like all three. But I like the healer. I was even a sucker for healers. There we go. There we go. This is an amazing game. I hope you guys get a chance to check it out. It is honestly out of this world uh indie lies it's called again the links are down below if you guys like it please check this game out uh it just it's getting ready to, i think it's getting ready to go to 1.0 it's still in early access but it's also on mobile too so you guys can check that out too but this is the indie buffet guys we're helping trying to find your next favorite game see you guys in the next one peace